What is up, Trace Gang? What is up, y'all? What's up, Tony Man? So, I am back, y'all. I am back with another mukbang. And y'all, today I'm doing Pizza Hut mukbang. And, you know, I got my pizza. I got my breadsticks. So yeah, we about to just um I'm about to go ahead and grub, but um I got a story time I want to tell you guys. So um I know y'all see that title. Oh my god. It's so bready. Mmm. And then I got my water too, y'all. So, y'all reading that title like, Patrice, you got into a fight? Mm-hmm, I did. I sure did, and I've only gotten into like two fights in my life, sixth grade and seventh grade. I'm like these um mushrooms off. I don't even like mushrooms. I got me a um a veggie lovers pizza. But um I got into two fights, my sixth grade year and my seventh grade year. And y'all, I'm the kind of person that don't get into drama. I don't like the drama. I don't condone of drama. It's just something that I don't like to do. So, the first fight was in sixth grade, which is, I'm going to tell y'all about the first fight. If y'all want to hear about the second fight, which happened in seventh grade, let me know down below. But, um, I didn't start these fights, y'all. So, I was in sixth grade, right? And I had these friends, you know. It was like five of us, right? We would hang out all the time, share lunch with each other, all of that, man, you know. Wear each other's jackets and clothes. I mean, that's how, that's just how tight we were, like how close we were. So, one day, we got to this altercation or whatever, right? I thought that we squashed everything. I thought that everything was um, understood. I don't know, I guess not. So, we got into this altercation. It really wasn't anything to like really fight about. So, everybody really understood that, you know, everything was squashed, everything was um put to the side that this whole altercation and this whole argument that we had was just was ridiculous and that we need to just stop arguing and just go back to being friends. So, I thought that's what, I thought that was what happened. I thought everybody understood. So, one day, you know, go to school, everything is good. Everything is good and I go to, I think I was in art class or something. I go to, I go to art class, right? One of my friends, who was in the in the clique was in that class with me and you know come to find out she told the rest of the clique that i was talking about that you know just running my mouth so you know after class is over you know me and her we just kiki and hi hi and you know we just kind of catching up and you know just kind of talking and everything right Next thing you know, she disappeared. I'm sitting here talking and she's not even behind me no more, right? So, um, I saw the girls, but I went to my locker, you know, to put my things up and, um, because by that time it was lunchtime. So I was like, hmm, 
I wonder what I'm gonna give the girls today because like I said we used to like give each other our you know swap our lunches or like kind of give each other snacks stuff people will always come up to me asking me for snacks like like they would use me because I had such good snacks I don't know why at the time I thought hey you know I got some friends they just like they just like what I have they like the snacks that I have whatever whatever but the whole time they were just using me for my, my food and they and, and I didn't even realize until I got like a little bit older and I started understanding but that's beside the point so I'm over here in my locker trying to figure out what I'm gonna give the girls today you know like do I want to give them some fruit snacks some goldfish uh you know fruit roll-ups some gushers maybe some chips like you know whatever I had in my lunch bag you know I would I would pass on to them you know they would you know pass me some stuff as well if I if I liked it or if I wanted it or whatever so I'm at my locker just kind of doing me I hear people calling my name down the hallway so I'm looking I'm just looking right I don't see nobody so then I hear it again I look and it's my squad you know but my my squad that I thought was my squad just down the hall and they like oh so you running your mouth you talking about this you this you that but where was that energy a couple days ago <laughs> so I'm confused I'm so confused and I'm like trying to figure out what are y'all talking about right I said, well, such and such told us that you called us this and that you wanted to fight us and you said this and that and the third. When did I say this? Like I tell y'all, I don't get into no drama, which is why I've only had two fights in my life. Because I keep my mouth shut. Now, if I do have something to say to you, I will come up to you and tell you because I'm that blunt. But if it's something that has nothing to do with me, I'm not going to get involved, right? So, people just kind of like to put my name into drama, or they, kinda, they like to drag me into drama. And I'm just like, you, you can keep that over there. Say that for the birds, because this don't have nothing to do with me. So, I'm, to, I'm, to, I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about. Why they getting so hostile with me? Why they want to fight me, right? y'all I'm not even gonna lie with you I'm not even gonna lie to y'all back then I had no backbone I just let people run over me I let people treat me and talk to me however and I'm not even afraid to tell y'all this story because I may or may not get some I may get some backlash from this I may not whatever y'all can say whatever y'all want yeah, I could be like, ooh, Patrice got her behind me, whatever, whatever. But what I went through, like in my past, it made me stronger and it made me grow up. And it made me realize that the people that you mess with now, like the people that you mess with in school, aren't going to always be there for you once you graduate. I have like, I ain't going to lie, I have like maybe three best friends that still rock with me. But anyway, I'm getting off subject. So, um, they came up to me, start pushing me, start slapping me. Um, they threw me against the wall. They um, they threw my, they knocked my lunchbox out of my hand. And at this point, I start crying because I'm just like, okay, I didn't do nothing to y'all. What are y'all talking about? I thought it was cool. I thought everything was good. So they like, nah, 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 you wanna talk all this and you wanna say all this. And y'all, be mindful, I had a boyfriend at the time. If you guys watched my um my reaction to my old videos that I put out, I think like sometime last week, you would know. Um, I'm not gonna say like nobody's names or anything, but you'll know who I um who who I was who I'm talking about, like who my boyfriend, what his name was and everything. Me and him were off and on or whatever. We dated a whole year until I moved and I had to come here. But um, anyway, so I'm over here getting thrown against the walls. I'm getting, I'm over here screaming for my life, saying I didn't do this, I didn't do this, da 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 da. I see my boyfriend walk by, by right now. Let now y'all tell me, y'all tell me, how would y'all feel if y'all boyfriend did this? 
let me know how you guys would feel, how you guys would react. Would you guys stay with the person or would you guys just kind of, or do y'all just dip and just be like, you know what, that's not a good person. So anyway, I'm getting thrown across the uh, hallway and everything. And this, 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 that, and the third. I see my boyfriend walk by. Well, you know, who was my, well, yeah, the boyfriend that I had. Y'all get it. So I see my boyfriend walk by. He looks, he laughs, he stares. And then he just walks away like I'm not, I'm like I'm not getting my behind me right now. And I'm supposed to be your girlfriend and you sitting here treating me like I'm a dog on the street or something. Or no, they treat me like a, I'm a dog on the street and just kind of like tossing me around and kicking me and everything. And you treating me like I'm just some, some chick that you was just messing with for like three days and then just kind of kick me to the curb. All right. So, by this time, I'm like, oh no, he's got to go, because what boyfriend does that, right? So, people start screaming and hollering, fight, 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 right? It got worse, it got taken to the bathroom, y'all. So, the fight moved to the bathroom. I was dragged to the bathroom. I got up and I ran into the stall. I told y'all I had no backbone. I had no, I had nothing back then. I was in the sixth grade, all right? The sixth grade. And um, they came in the bathroom behind me and they, they, dra they dragged me out and they pushed me and my head hit the sink. When I tell you I had a big old bump and everything, I mean like. I was bruised up. My forehead was bruised up. My nose was bleeding and bruised. Um, my wrist, I hit my wrist on something and it slipped. It was just a, that was just the, the worst the worst day ever, y'all. So, tell me why that fight lasted for a good 15 minutes, right? And you telling me that there was no security, but there was no security around, no nothing, right? I mean, it was some teachers or whatever, but they didn't know what to do, right? They didn't know. They was like, man, I'm not going to get into this, right? And this one lady tried to break it up, but... She ended up getting knocked out, knocked out in the um, in the head or whatever. And it was just a whole lot, y'all. So all of that and security kind of finally came, right? Man, y'all, when I tell y'all, they beat me up so so bad. And um. They end up, you know, getting suspended for or like for three days or whatever. And I came back to school like the next day. Everybody was giving me the cold shoulder. Not everybody, but like most people was giving me the cold shoulder. And the friends, like my real friends that I had, they tried to help, but they didn't know what to do because they was like, well, you know. This ain't really got nothing to do with me. You know, like, I care for you, and I'm really sorry this happening to you, but this ain't really, you know, because I'm the type of person that's like that, too. Like, if it ain't got nothing to do with me, I'm not going to jump in. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? And the, my real friends that I have now, they know this. Like, they know that I'm not the type of person to jump in if you fighting somebody. Because, like I said, if it has nothing to do with me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to jump in. And y'all probably be like, oh, you a bad friend. No, I'm not because I will actually, I will call somebody. I will call for help. I'm the type of person that will call. I will call for help or, you know, I will tell you, don't do it. Don't fight them because they're not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now, you know, if you want to fight them, that's you. But, you know, I can't stop you from doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is your fight. It's not mine. But, yeah, y'all. 
that was the fight that I um that was my first fight. And I think that was the worst one. The one I had in seventh grade wasn't as worse as the one that I had in sixth grade, but that just tells you that people out here, they will say that they ride for you, but they really not riding for you. Or they'll they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm your friend, and they'll use you for stuff, you know. People people can pretend to be your friend just to get something out of you. And I realized that my 11th grade year of high school, that the friends that I had then, they not my friends now. They only wanted me for something, they used me for something. They really didn't really want to be my friend. So, but I'm thankful and grateful for the friends that I do have. And my circle is this small, y'all, it's this small. Because I really can't trust people. I can't, I can't trust them no more. So yeah, that's that was my story time, man. If y'all want to hear any more story times, you know, leave them down below. I have so many, so many story times I want. I would love for you guys to hear, and I want to tell y'all. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this pizza. Finish the rest of these breadsticks. And um, yeah, y'all, I did more of this than this. Okay, <laughs> but. Y'all let me know down below some crazy story times that y'all had, you know. Have y'all gotten into a fight before? Have y'all not? Just leave them down below in the comment section. I want to know. If you guys want more story times from me, y'all know what to do. Leave them down below in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that bell. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys comment. Make sure you guys share. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.